Good afternoon, guys. It is almost 2 o'clock. Um, I've been up since, I guess, like 11.30. Um, I didn't go to bed until after 2 last night. And then I woke up periodically. I had that stupid restless arms issue. And then I woke up at 4.30 in the morning, nauseous from my feeds. Come in. And um, then I kind of dozed off, off and on this morning. Mimi and Pop, or Pop and Amy came over and they brought me lunch and an icy and pretzel from Sam's. So I'm sipping on those. And then Mimi and Pop left, I guess about an hour ago. And I just got finished getting cleaned up and getting my hair washed. I'm getting my bed changed. And I'm getting ready to draw some in my book, my sketchbook thing. So my IV is supposed to be started pretty soon, but then hopefully after that I can be unhooked and <clears throat> walk around and stuff. But I have all new pajamas that Pop got me, and they're super soft, so I was happy about that. Um, I'm feeling okay today. I'm still just a tiny bit nauseous, but it's not the end of the world. So hopefully today will be another good day, and um, I'll just get to chill and try to get better. But I will talk to you guys in a little while. Hey guys, um, it is five four, almost five forty in the afternoon. I am unhooked from IVs. Um, they started my IV this afternoon almost two hours late. I don't know why. I guess maybe because today they have nursing students with them. And they've been a little slow. But I don't have to be hooked up again until like 9 or 10. So um, that's pretty good. Um, so I did a little doodling. And I was going to show you guys without getting stuff messed up here and I'm actually quite proud of it um I did this little design that says hello and it has little roses I did some borders I don't like this side of this one I like that side better and that one has little like dots on it so I did that for a little while and um, I'm like exhausted. I don't know why. I'm really trying to stay awake. Um, <clears throat> I guess it just got quiet. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of like dreary outside. That may look like blue sky, but that's all clouds. And it's supposed to rain. So when it's like in the forecast for rain, this girl gets sleepy. But dinner is here, so I'm hoping eating and watching YouTube will wake me up instead of sitting here where it's quiet. And Amy's over there drawing. I am, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> but tonight's menu item was um, chicken alfredo with steamed vegetables, which actually looks pretty good. And some kind of blueberry dessert. And a roll and a Coke. So I'm going to eat and hopefully wake up. And I will see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, not much has happened since I last talked to you. Um, I've finished eating dinner and it was good. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm trying to wake up. <clears throat> I'm still pretty tired and now it's raining outside and it's getting dark and that combination together makes me very sleepy. Um, I want to go walk around because I haven't walked yet today but it's almost 7.30 and normally around this time is when you meet your night, your night nurse because they typically do what's known as shift change around 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. And speaking of, come in. So anyway, um, I guess now I'm actually going to be doing a treatment. 
maybe that'll wake me up and then after that I can go for a walk so we'll see hey guys we went downstairs and we went to the little cafe that's like right there off the elevator um so <clears throat> I got a cappuccino I got a donut and I found regular flavored hummus at that place I've been looking for it pretty much ever since I got here <coughs> but all they have is like roasted red pepper which is gross or roasted garlic we also found that they have um, guacamole little containers so I'm gonna try that either probably tomorrow because they close at 10 tonight and I doubt I'll still be hungry but we're gonna try that tomorrow but I'm walking around the floor because I haven't walked yet and I gotta get my exercise in so let's see how many laps I can do tonight. Hey guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Um, it is almost 11.40 and um, I've been hooked up to my IVs and feeds since mm, 10.30, 10, 10.30. Um, I'm having a bit of nausea for some reason, so I... I really want to stop the feeds, but I'm going to try to tough it out as much as I can. So instead, I just had her lower the rate on the feeding pump and give me some Zofran by IV. So hopefully that'll ease the nausea and I can still get some formula in. So even if I don't finish all three cans, I'm still getting some nutrients in to help. Um, they also weighed me and I am still 107 pounds but you know it's gonna take time and that's fine um they couldn't get one side of my line to flush earlier and so when she came in here just now to do the Zofran I asked if maybe we could kind of play around with it see if we could get it fixed just because I found with me the longer you wait to try to get one line unclogged, the harder it becomes. And heparin, they don't use it here, and plus it wouldn't be an option for me because I'm already on Xarelto, which is a blood thinner. So we played around with it, changed different positions and stuff, and we finally got it to go, and I felt it like whatever was blocking, I felt it like push through and go through it and whatever. So hopefully tomorrow morning if somebody uses that line it will break <clears throat> so I'm just laying here um, watching some YouTube and my nose is causing me problems and it's like this 